Hi and welcome at IBC 2019. I'm at the Western Digital booth and we're going to talk about the future of USB with Matt from Western Digital. This year's IBC coverage is brought to you by Newtech, Blackmagic Design, Signiant, and G Technology. Okay, Matt, so first off, I'm a bit confused at this point because there seem to be so many different names for USB and 3.1 and, well, you explain to me what's, what's a simple way of looking at this. With USB, technology's gotten faster and faster, USB is getting faster and more capability, but with that came a lot of different names and technical confusion of USB 3.0, 3.1, 3.2, Gen 2x2, and now we have USB 4 coming. So it is confusing, but there's some simple ways of talking about it and explaining it and understanding it, and that's what I will do. So USB 3.0 was exciting because it brought us five gigabits per second. That's called super speed. Now you're moving into different connectors and that are USB-C, right, which is a very popular connector that everything's migrating towards, and that uses different standard speeds. Super speed, which is five gigabits per second, super speed USB 10 gigabits per second, and super speed USB 20 gigabits per second, and one more, super speed USB 40 gigabits per second. Now 40 is coming in USB 4, so that's a ways away, and the, and the, the specification was publicly announced just recently. But let's talk about where we are today. So five gigabits per second is really good for products that are like hard drives, right? That give you 140 megabytes per second, good speeds. It's a USB-C connector here in our Armor ATD product from GTEC, right? Yep. So really, really good solid product. It, it, it stays within that five gigabits per second threshold. Then we have the Sandus Extreme Pro. This is newly announced as well. And what this does, this is a USB-C connector, same as before. Uh, but this speeds go up to super speed USB 10 gigabits per second. So you get a little bit faster, right, and for those that support it. And again, these are all backward compatible. Now we have one I don't have here, which is in our gaming line. So this is not our gaming show, but our WD Black P50 is using USB 3.2 2 by 2. So the simple way of saying it is it's super speed USB 20 gigabits per second. That's the maximum speed it goes up to. And then we have our GTEC professional line here. This is our external SSD, right? This is our G Drive Mobile Pro SSD. Now this uses Thunderbolt, USB-C connector, but with Thunderbolt machines, typically like an Apple Mac or a Windows machine that has it, it goes up to this eventually in USB 4, super speed, if I get this right, super speed USB 40 uh, gigabits per second. And that's the US, USB 4 standard. So you can use it in what's called Thunderbolt 3 today, but the USB 4 standard is actually subsuming or bringing in Thunderbolt. So any product you buy today that's Thunderbolt 3 will be compatible with USB 4. So you get future compatibility. And that means all these products, they all work from five gigabit per second to 10 to 20 to 40, will all work under the USB 4 standard. So you're future-proofed when you buy them. So, it sounds confusing and maybe there's still a lot to learn, but it really comes down to this 5, 10, 20, and 40 gigabits per second. With all the same connector, right? All migrating to USB-C. Now there's gonna be type A still around. It's not going away anytime soon because a lot of people have made a lot of investments in machines and products that have the type A. But yes, it's all migrating to USB-C connectors and you can get adapters when you need to, but it's all moving so you can migrate up in a common speed with a common connector. And basically the, um, uh, the, the speed that's being used or the standard that's being used, that depends on the, on the, on the speed of the drive, right? Well, it's a combination, right? The, the, the host or computer needs to have the right speed as well. So there's always progress with new technologies to get faster. And then the drives, they'll work even at the slower speeds, right? But if you want to take full advantage of them, then you want to make sure you match that 10 gigabit per second speed on the drive. For example, right here, you want to match that with a with. computer that can do that capability. Yeah. But it will still will work at slower speeds. So it still works. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you.